on this episode of the Ramsey Ranch Kitchen on Smoky Mountain Faith Food and Fun. I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to make a slow bake, easy, real cheesecake. We're going to do strawberry cheesecake today and this was my mother-in-law Dottie's recipe. <laughs> To make this easy slow bake cheesecake, you're going to need three blocks of cream cheese, four tablespoons of sour cream, three large eggs, a half of a lemon, three teaspoons of vanilla, a cup and a half of sugar, two nine ounce graham cracker pie crusts, and a can of fruit pie filling of your choice. Today we're using strawberry. Alrighty, this is a one bowl operation for this cheesecake and it is super simple. I've got my three blocks of um, room temperature cream cheese. Little tip, uh, it comes in the foil pack and it's all sealed. You can throw those into some warm water for about five, 10 minutes and that will soften them to room temperature. So that's pretty simple. That's a good tip. And then I've got, um, my cup and a half of sugar. This is a cup and a half measurer. It was my mom's and I love it because you don't see those too often. So I'm going to go ahead and my cord is giving me some trouble here and cream together the cream cheese and the sugar. You can do this in a stand mixer too if you'd like, but I didn't feel like calling mine out. So this is the recipe my mother-in-law Dottie made for all the big family holidays in New York and she did this because it was easy, quick, and delicious. So let's cream together. It's nice and creamy as you can see there. Now I'm going to put in my beautiful eggs laid from the cluckers at the Ramsey Ranch. Look at that beautiful speckled egg. That's country cluckers. That's right. What did I call them? You just said the cluckers. They are the country cluckers at the Ramsey Ranch. And they are named after country singers. So we've got Dolly and Reba and Dixie and Loretta and Minnie Pearl. Who am I missing? Dottie. Dottie. Yep, Dottie Rambo. <laughs> so... All right, so I've got my eggs in. I'm gonna put in my vanilla. And the sour cream. Oh, R.I.P. Winona. Yeah, we, we lost a, we lost Winona in uh, January. Not sure what happened to her, she was beautiful. But we have eight. I'll show a little, a little video of them. <laughs> as I'm talking here so you can see our beautiful fuckers. All right, so now I've got a half a lemon and I'm putting it in my easy peasy lemon squeezy tool here. This one's from Pampered Chef. Uh, if you've ever watched my videos from cooking before, you know that I'm a Pampered Chef guru and it's supposed to filter out the seeds, but Gosh, we're doing real life here, guys. <laughs> One fell in. So we're going to get rid of that. Anyway, that's everything that goes in this cheesecake. Super simple. Now, let's let not our beaters fail us today. <laughs> Yellow 
I think we're good. And the beater's held out. But I may be in the market for a new hand mixer. All right. So next is the pie shells. I'm using a nine inch, a nine inch, nine inch graham cracker shell. And we've got two of them. So what I'm gonna actually do is where's my scraper? So you don't want to fill these all the way up. You kind of want to fill them about two thirds of the way. And I'll show you why in just a second. That's a great consistency. There's a few tiny little lumps, but it's okay. It happens. So we're just gonna pour this into our pie shells. Now this should make about just exactly enough to do this recipe, and you'll see why I don't want it totally full in just a second. This was my mother-in-law, Dottie, uh, that would be John's mom, those who watch the channel. This was her go-to holiday cheesecake recipe. And since we're on Easter, everybody expects cheesecake. Even though we've decided to go out to eat, we're going to have dessert at home. And this is a real deal. This is real cheesecake. Yes, you're, you're using the pre-made pie crust, but it's awesome. Alrighty, so I've got my two pies here. So the magic of this is you don't have to top it later. And we got strawberry filling today, which everyone will be cheering for. You're gonna just take plops of the filling and plop it in there in little sections. Enough so that if you are cutting into it, everybody's gonna get a little bit. All right. No rhyme or reason. You don't have to make it pretty. But see, it's going to kind of sink down into the filling there. And that's about it. Doesn't have to be awesome or gorgeous syrupy stuff left there. All right. I'm going to throw these in the oven at 300. That's why it's a slow bake. 300 for about 60 minutes. And we're going to check it. And when it's at that point, we want to see if it's just a little bit jiggly, but set on the top. And if that's how it looks, then it's done. But I will show you that in about an hour or for you in about a second. All right. It has been about 70 minutes. You cook it between 60 and 70 minutes, um, depending on your oven. You can see it's just very lightly brown on top, um, which is a good thing. And you'll see that it's a little bit jiggly in the centers. And that will set up as it cools. We're going to let it cool completely before putting it in the refrigerator to chill completely. All right, I have the gentleman here for the cheesecake tasting. This is John's mom's recipe, Dottie, which is what the title tells us, and this is what she made for all the holidays, right? Hmm. Yes, she did. He's over there eating already. Just ate a piece of strawberry. It's not a big deal. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, tell us what you think. And did I do it? the way mama did. <laughs> it's good. That's just like mama's. Well, I only have one thing to say about it. <laughs> okay. Who said this? <laughs> I 
I'm going to twirl my fork for a change. All right. So I'm just a, uh, I can't say a girl with a fork to twirl. I can be a guy with a fork and an alibi. Sure. <laughs> I'm good with it. I'm good with it. No, it's very good. It has a, I like the, the filling actually baked in with the, with the pie itself. And I enjoy the, um, the, the texture of the creaminess. How's the cheesecake flavor? Mm -hmm. That is the one thing that I like about this. Which is why my mom always used to make extra. She would sometimes, make like four every holiday. Sometimes you get cheesecake and it's so dense and so thick. Would some people like that? Like you buy like um, cookie dough cheesecake or something and you're really cutting through it. It's almost like... Yeah, I don't like a dense cheesecake. This is a nice... Creamy. Creamy cheesecake. It's not... Feels pretty light. Dry at all. Yeah. But it doesn't thick. taste like one of them cold cheesecakes that are no bake, right? It tastes no. like a real baked no. cheesecake. No, no bake is horrible. This is slow yeah. bake. Yep. <laughs> so you're giving the opinion on the whole meal. Yes. I like it. Yep. Uh, John and I both agree that it's a great meal. It's also a great meal for a Good Friday. It's a good meal for Good Friday. And it's about to be time for good smackdown and <laughs> oh my goodness and these, good these tennessee, characters and good tennessee basketball too because we've got that even i mean there's a lot going on it's a good day and we've had a good time with family so we even got double eggs yes we did can't really beat that That's it's a good day yep all i can say is is that if you like the video smash that like button give us a thumbs up as john and i say Yes. Double thumbs up. That's right. Uh, subscribe to Smoky Mountain Faith Food and Fun if you haven't already. It is free to do so. And you'd be doing us a big favor if you did that because then we can continue to bring you more of Christy's wonderful recipes. And as you can tell, she's a good cook. By popular demand, I've done two <laughs> cooking videos. If you want to keep them coming, give us a thumbs up. Yes. Or leave a comment. <laughs> and of course, make sure to hit the notification bell so that you get school's in a rainy dingy uh that way you're notified every time we've got new content posted and especially when she's got wonderful recipes like this all righty guys so for my gorgeous wife behind the camera my boy john brooks we're saying god bless you all we'll see you next time and we love you we can't wait to show you what's next bye